Thanks everyone for your kind words. Alexis, I hope you enjoyed them because as a married man myself, I can assure you it is the last time that you will get to speak for three minutes without being interrupted by your wife. <laughs> Only joking though. <laughs> Good afternoon friends and family. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Carlo, Louise's brother, and I've also had the privilege of being Alexi's best man. I hope you've all enjoyed the day so far, and I think we can all agree that the church ceremony was amazing. Yeah. The hall looks fantastic, the wedding party, bridesmaids, ushers, parents, and of course I look impeccable. <laughs> Today's celebration is twice as special for me, the reason being not only is the groom my best friend, but the bride is my baby sister. It seems like yesterday that I was standing here with the situation reversed and Alexia was making a speech about me. However, I get to go last. It's payback time. <laughs> I'm honoured that Alexia asked me to be his best man. He is finally admitting what we knew all along that I could not only whoop his ass at tennis, but that I am the better man. <laughs> Since we have a competitive streak between us anyway, it's speech wars, so this is going to be fun. My official duties I have covered, including making sure the groom arrived on time, difficult, sober, relatively, and smart, well, two out, two, two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> and now I have the opportunity and audience to speak just a bit about our infamous group. Alexi was born on the 18th of September 1984, a week before DNA fingerprinting was discovered. <laughs> Guess they saw you coming, mate. <laughs> I wasn't there to witness his childhood, childhood, however the last eight years has, been, has more than made up for it. In August 2007, when I heard that my sister was bringing a boy home for us to meet, in typical Italian Big Brother style, I was on the offensive. <laughs> I wanted to protect my little sister from the Big Bad Wall. When I was introduced, it was fair to say I wasn't impressed. Sorry, bro. <laughs> he had shaved eyebrows and a new era cap with echo clothes. You know it was a long time ago when people were rocking echo clothes. A Danny guy I want to be about the swagger who drained the rapper's wardrobe. Plus he was so skinny. I remember thinking, before this boy can be accepted into our family, he needs to learn how to eat like an Italian. Funnily enough, a few years later, and a few stone later, he says it's muscles, I say it's pasta. He fits in the tree. <laughs> I guess first impressions are deceiving. As in all honesty, after speaking to him for a while, I come to realise that the boy was decent. We both shared similar interests. Tennis, Manchester United, the best club in the world, by the way. <laughs> Apart from the fact that I can clearly see that he adored my sister. They were inseparable from the get-go. It really is true that after getting to know him, I felt less like I'd lost my sister and more like I gained a brother. Until he started Tommy Louise's hair. What is all that about, bro? <laughs> And then it felt more like a game of sister. <laughs> no, don't worry, then. I'm only getting. <laughs> Three years after he met my sister, he showed up at the house and unveiled his new tattoo. Louise's name in big black letters on his forearm. Yes, just three weeks after they met. When I saw it, I kept thinking, this dude is crazy. 
People say a tattoo of a partner's name is a kiss of death, but seeing as we're all sitting here at their wedding, I guess they are an exception to the rule. And Alexi can breathe a sigh of relief now, because that seriously would, one, would be one big embarrassing cover-up. <laughs> In the years that we've known each other, Alexi and I have built up a bond of friendship and brotherhood. It is actually difficult to remember a time before he was part of our family. Since Louise is a perfectionist, he has the patience of a saint. And if you don't know my sister very well, you should realise she's very hard to please. <laughs> yeah, Alexi does everything he, he can to please her, including exchanging the engagement ring he proposed with because she didn't like it. <laughs> You think she would be happy with the one diamond, but not my sister, she wanted four. <laughs> Sometimes Louisa wants things to be too perfect and they backfire. For example, she sent Alexi to the dentist for a checkup, or so she thought. <laughs> when Alexi came back and walked in, he smiled and he looked across between Mike Tyson and Del Boy from Only Falls and Orson. <laughs> Because, lo, lo and behold, he, he now had a sparkly gold tooth. He was big pimping with that tooth. And Louise's look of shock was so funny that we still laugh about it. As much as Lex is a great guy, he has married a diamond in my sister. Although we do not show it often, she has been my shoulder and has gone above and beyond the call of duty for me. For that and so much more, I'm truly grateful. When she was born, I felt like the attention was being taken from me because the new ba this new baby had come in and taken my place. However, whilst growing up together, I soon realised that wasn't the case. It meant I had a new wrestling buddy, I was six. <laughs> I obviously didn't realise she wasn't a doll. I was boisterous and rough, and unfortunately she was on the receiving end of it, meaning I once accidentally pushed her down the stairs when wrestling her at five years old. Chipped in her tooth. Seriously, you guys are made for each other with all this dental work. And no, you cannot send me the bill. Seeing Louisa walk down the aisle today with Baba looking so happy, I can rest easy knowing that she has found a good man who will look after her and be her equal. On second thought, if, you, if Alexi knows what's best for him, he should just agree with everything she says. Seriously though, she looks stunning, just like a princess she wanted to be. Although I don't know how she's managing to walk in that dress. <laughs> Louisa, you make me so proud. I want you to know that I will always be there for you when you need me. And will kick Alexi's ass if you want me to. I love you so much. <laughs> No, I'm not finished. <laughs> you are a wonderful sister and I hope you have a marriage as happy and as strong as mine. It is not just a piece of paper, it is literally the joining of two people. There will be good times and there will be bad times, but you will always have each other's love and support. You have picked a great person to share your journey with. Now, it gives me the immense pleasure to invite you all to be upstanding Raise your glasses and join me in a toast to Louisa and Alexi because I think they were made for each other. <laughs> May your love be modern enough to survive the times but old fashioned enough to last forever. I'm sure you're going to be happy together and I speak for everyone here when I say I wish you both the very best for your future life together. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, families and friends, the new Mr. and Mrs. Constantino, Alexi and Louisa.